Welcome back to the Chem 2700 Laboratory at the University of Guelph. Here we go with experiment number five, the hydrolysis of T-butyl chloride. Now, to do this experiment, we have to set up a whole bunch of different solutions, and then we have to add this acetonitrile solution of T-butyl chloride. Thank you, Jen. Jen's just done that for us. Now, we have methyl red indicator, and it starts off that color and eventually turns that color. Somehow we got to decide when to stop timing. I'm colorblind, so I like to go to the dark pink color. Some people go sooner, so you know the solutions look like that, and then they start to turn. Some people can pick up the color change earlier, some people do it later. Just be consistent on your color changes, and life will be good. We are the hydrolysis of T butyl chloride. There are actually three chemical reactions occurring in your flasks for this particular experiment. The first is the T butyl chloride falls apart, gives you the sp2 trigonal planar carbocation, which very quickly reacts with water to give you the T butyl alcohol and hydrochloric acid. But we add sodium hydroxide, so the pH is basic. As the hydrochloric acid is produced, it is neutralized by the sodium hydroxide to give you sodium chloride and water. When the sodium hydroxide is consumed, the methyl red indicator will change from yellow basic to pink acidic. By changing the amounts of sodium hydroxide that we add, the times for the reaction to occur and the color to change in particular gets longer, which means we can make nice graphs of our data and figure out the rate constant K. And that's the whole purpose of our experiment. Please measure carefully and have fun in the lab.